Hi, I will, I will discuss now uh, three extra examples dealing with work. The first one, we have a force, 2x i hat plus 3y j hat newtons. It acts on an object as it moves along the x-axis. So the object moves from the origin to x equals 10 meters. So what is the work done by this force? Now, the force is 2x i hat plus 3y j hat, 3y j hat. Now, this piece, in fact, doesn't contribute to the work at all for two reasons. First of all, as the object moves from 0 to 10, it's moving al along the x-axis. So along the x-axis, y is 0. So this force is 0 anyway. Along the path of the particle, this force is 0. So it doesn't do any work. Secondly, even if the force happened to be not 0, suppose instead of y, it's x. So even if the force is not 0, this force is in the y direction, and the displacement is in the x direction. So as the object moves in the x direction, the force is in the y direction. So the force and the displacement, it's always, the force is always perpendicular to the displacement. Because the displacement is, the motion is only in the x direction, and the force is in the y direction. So, so the force is always perpendicular to the displacement, which means that the work done is zero. Because the work is force times displacement times cosine theta. And if theta is 90 degrees, its cosine is zero. So this force, in fact, it's superfluous here. It doesn't do anything. The only force of relevance is this 2xi. And the work done, it's a variable force. So it's f of x dx from 0 to 10. And this is integral of 2x dx from 0 to 10. Now, what is the integral of 2x dx? What is a function whose derivative is 2x? It's x squared. So that's x squared from 0 to 10, which is 100 minus 0. So 100 joules. So the work done is 100 joules.